Hey there, everybody, it's me, Bo Astra. Uh, just a quick heads up that uh, when I was recording this last session for the finale for My Friendly Neighborhood, there were some technical difficulties, unfortunately, that uh, led to a bit of a visual stuttering issue. And instead of releasing the last session as multiple episodes like I have been, I just decided, well, might as well just throw it out there as one big thing. Um, so sorry about the bit of a lackluster ending to my very first series, but um, if you suck with me this far, thank you very much. That's about it. Um, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the episode. Hello and welcome back. It's me, Bo Astra. We're back for more My Friendly Neighborhood and we're just gonna, you know, get right into it. You know, I don't see any reason for us to beat around the bush. It's been, ooh, how long has it been? It's been quite a few actual real life months since uh, since we last played. And uh, luckily, because I've been editing all the episodes that have been coming out, which uh, they've already, most of them have already come out. Right, Leonard, Leonard is sort of protecting the soundstage for us. Good thing we don't have to talk to him. We can just go through here. Um, and I did also remember where I saw all of those. Also, wait. There was a cheat tape here that I didn't pick up. It's not cheating. I can go back and look at the footage anytime. No, see, I, uh, I, I came back and I found the correct. How do I? Oh, wrong. Uh, we want to turn right to 7, 12, and then back to 4. No, that's incorrect. Um, right, to, uh, right to 7, left to 12, and then right to 4. There we go. Oh. Hey, remember when I said that there was going to be a, uh, there was going to be a, an extra solution to that fuse box puzzle? Vindicated. Okay. Now, let me, I don't think there's any particular sequence that this needs to be done in, but there was a poster in the man, like the custodian's office. Uh, way back, like episode two, like two or something. Um, where I saw all these symbols. Oh no. Why does it look like that? Oh god, that's an eldritch monstrosity. That's horrifying. And also, we don't have room for it. Um. I'll be right back. Where's the closest safe room? Oh wait, I actually do know where the closest safe room is. Um. Oh, but I know who I'm going to have to meet. Mm -hmm. I don't enjoy what's about to happen. Leonard, you still you still good up here? You enjoying yourself? Where is Yeah, it's right here. Okay, cool. See? There's a benefit to There's a benefit It's been so long since I've actually had to shoot them. Uh, there's a benefit to uh, watching all of the footage back. And that's I uh, I do know where everything is. Alright, cool. So now we have room for that. We'll, uh, we'll pull that stuff back out of my inventory later. Once I have made my way back down to the sewers. To finish what that puzzle. You do when you get upset? You Never have I bemoaned the fact that there wasn't a run button in this game more than right now when I wish I could go fast but I cannot the amount of just wasted time oh boy you know this uh this mask actually does kind of remind me a little bit of the the masks that they added to lethal company uh, and we all know that those were a, a good and great thing they, they do good and great things. 
But we have all these masks. Let's go back to the uh, let's go back to the hotel because I want to get rid of them. And I also uh, did do a little bit of snooping on my own, and I've found. You stay over there, Leonard. Metal Leonard. It's like he digivolved. No, I did some snooping and I went back to the conference room. Because uh, in the footage I realized I had missed a little little thing. Uh, that was a hint to how I'm supposed to put these masks on these busts in this hallway. Hey, everybody, remember the very first episode where I said there's probably going to be something with this later? I was right. I'm not always right, but in this case, I was right. So, hey, Norman. Let's work on your, uh, let's work on your anger issues, buddy. Oh, we got Junebug. Junebug is going to get the... Wait. Is that what that is? That's t that's supposed to be tired. That's beyond tired, Junebug. I feel like are you getting enough sleep? Are you drinking too much coffee? What's happening here? All right. Leonard does strike me as being perpetually surprised. And then Liliana, sad. I'm sorry I called you tall. Freakishly so. Why is George the happy one? That feels unusual. Now, what room did that unlock? That's locked from the other side. That's locked. Oh, a new room. Huh. But what does it mean, you know? When you stare into it and it stares back at you, what is... What do you see and what is this... What is this noise? I, uh, I, uh, I don't know what I'm looking at. We'll remember this is here, and maybe we'll come back. It, it's got that air of, this is probably not important to, like, actually finish the game, but, you know. Just a little secret, a little secret fun thing, maybe. Who knows? If you know, put it in the comments. What, what's up with that machine? Aww. Ricky left me some snacks. Thanks, Ricky. You know what? Maybe he's not all bad. Maybe he's not all bad. We've learned that, really, with all these heartwarming moments that we've had with the puppets, Pearl, Goblet. This will probably be the fastest way, actually, to go to the garden safe room and get our fuse back. Wait, no, what am I talking about? There's a safe room literally on the way. No, no, this is still probably faster, because it's not very out of our way. All right, let's get our fuse back. Uh, you know what? I don't see us needing any more of this other stuff. We'll just keep going. We'll just keep going. Uh, good memories. You know, it's been it's been so long since I was actually physically in the game. Uh, but it feels like I was just here. Like, because I'm still actually editing the episodes. Wait. Kiss our rat friend for good luck. Mwah. Good boys. Best boys, good boys, best boys. Uh, okay, directly across is going to be our fastest way. Man, it's really quiet ever since we helped Ray figure out his anger issues. Hey, Junebug. June? Good lord. Uh. Norman. Time and time and distance have not made the heart grow fonder. You're just lucky that those little puppetlings exist. What the fu- Oh, right. Okay. Right. Norman is taped them. Yeah, distance and distance and time have not made the heart grow fonder in my mind, Norman. You're just lucky that those little puppet little puppetlings are actively worse than you. I notice all sorts of things. Here, let's play again. Okay. So we have this other We have this other 
fuse. I guess this would be a stage. Oh yeah, there it is. All right, so spade, star, diamond, heart. Spade, star, diamond. Wait. Spade, star, diamond, heart. Now, hold your hands up in the air. What horror? I, I, you know, one thing I learned when I was uh, looking back through all the footage is that nothing was ever as scary as I uh, assumed it was going to be. Hold on. Oh my god, he's T posting for. T posting? He's T posing for power. That is the flattest lobster I've ever seen in my life. Are you okay, bud? Mondays, am I right? I'm recording this on a Tuesday. I don't even know why I said that. What else is in here? Ooh, a grenade. The punctuation. Where does this go? Secret elevator. Where does it take me? We're going to find out right now. Where am I? Wait a second. This is this is unfamiliar territory. Oh yeah. This is more like it. Where am I? I a vacation. Where am I? It's like Muppet Tre is this the set for Muppet Treasure Island? Not Muppet Treasure Island. Puppet Puppet Treasure Puppet Pirates Cove. That's what it was. It was Puppet Pirates Cove. Oh god, it's actually going to make me it's scene by scene. Just little rung by rung I have to climb this elevator. Not elevator. I can words. Uh, what's the... It's a ladder. A real snake eater moment. You guys having fun down there? Don't worry, I'll be there in a second. Hold on, I just gotta explore all the way around. Huh. There's really not going to be anything over here, huh? Could not help but let my curiosity get the best of me. Let's see what's on the other side of this door. Where? Flashlight? I'm on, like, the roof? I'm on the roof! Oh! Okay. So that was like a different sound stage. That was like sound stage five, I guess. I wonder if there's anything interesting or useful. Here in sound stage four, this up upstairs part. I came all the way over here. Oh, there is a, there is a room. Wait a second. Oh, I just got got. Oh, I just got got. I just got got. Oh, no. Oh, I'm gonna have to go all the way back around now, huh? What was the purpose of that? All right, everybody. I will be skipping ahead through this section 100%. Don't you worry. What? Oh, there's two Leonards over there. Why are there two Leonards? Leonard, what happened to you? I don't know why I decided that was a good idea. Alright. I swear he's everywhere. Everything reminds me of him. I'm not gonna think it's a- Oh! Oh god! Don't you fucking surprise me like that again. Ugh. You're a menace. Everything about you. Let me list. Oh, little tiny puppets. Let me count the ways in which I hate you. You're loud. You're annoying. You're everywhere. Literally every single room that I go into, I swear, you are. You find a way to exist in that space. You are. 
somehow worse than Norman. Which I didn't think was possible. But you know, here we are. You're not even worth wasting duct tape on because you go down in one shot. I guess that isn't a negative, technically. You do provide me an outlet for getting rid of some of my ammo. You are an ammo sink every time I go through a room. Negative, back to the negatives. You are the only, the only other thing in this game besides before I got a, uh, not a weapon besides a wrench to injure me. So score one for you, I guess. Yeah, I think that's a, that about covers it. Hey, Norman. See, I can't even be mad at Norman. Norman just exists. Norman's just living his life. He's just vibing. You don't even vibe. Your vibes? Rancid. Completely vile. Just think about the entire uh, Grinch song. All of that directly applies to you. Stink. Stank. Stunk. Alright, back into the elevator. So we can actually explore that room. Oh, we did a full circle, huh? We did a full circle for no reason. We'll see if I leave that in. Probably. Does this do anything? No. I feel like things are gonna get aggressive momentarily. Is there anything over here? No, we're not climbing. You can't trick me again, game. Trick me once, shame on me. Trick me twice, shame on you. Ooh. This is fun. What's this? Tim! Who's Tim? And why should I care? Is it Tiny Tim? Is this a Charles Dickens reference? I got. Hey, wait, is Treasure Island? Is Muppet Treasure Island? No, not Muppet Treasure Island. Is the the movie Treasure Island, which the Muppets spoofed, and this game also spoofed the Muppets version of the conclusion. Wait, hold on. I have to go back and read that for a second. Was the was Treasure Island? Uh, was that also that wasn't a Dickens, right? That was that was somebody else. I can't, I can't remember. My brain. Not what it used to be. Office. I'm still in the garden. Okay, that's weird. Uh, Hank's Inventor Diary, December 4th, 1982. Gonna pull this voice out again. I'm calling this one the conclusion because it might be the last one I make. I think it's my magnum opus though. Had to build the ammo right into the body so you can't reload it without taking the whole thing apart, but it should bring most anything to a stop real quick. Okay, that's uh, good to know. Do I have room for... You know, I've been playing RE4 Remake in my spare time, and uh, it's uh, it's got an auto-sort feature, which is really, really nice. Uh, I'm gonna eat one of these. It's got an auto sort feature, which is really nice, because then I can just not have to constantly be moving shit around in my inventory. Oh, uh, I need gems. That would make sense. All right, let's go shoot some puppets. Uh, unless. Hey, George. Oh, hey, George. That's a cute outfit. That's a good out. That's a good look for you. Oh my god. That is a lot. Okay. Okay, George, you got hands. You got hands this time. Oh. More than one shotgun. Everybody's got hands over here. We got a we got a green gym. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Uh these are these are nice fun little alternative outfits though. Hey Junebug? 
looking cool. You got a little hook on your hand. You got cute little pink skull on your, is this actual water? What? I'm getting my boots wet. This isn't good. Not good at all. Uh, okay. Now, man, this lasts a while. Cool. All right. Third gem. Third time's the charm. Does it? I guess it just does it automatically. <laughs> Always knew it make a good pirate. This oh. To a full stop. So I just have. 999 8 uh oh I'm going to get swarmed right like that's what this means hello no why do I have this how big is oh god my inventory is f f very full oh boy this is cool though I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go. This was a this was a nice little detour. We got a. I can't. Uh, this is I guess like a Gatling gun. Knowledge is power in this in this instance. Uh, but we got everything in this room. I I guess I don't even think we're on the map. This is not on the map for us. So let's go back to the sewers really quick. We're finished here. And with that out of the way. Now I got sand in my boots. You know, ever the pragmatist, really real Anakin Skywalker here. Hates sand. It gets everywhere. Yeah, it sure is uh, it's quiet around here. That it does. And this candy bar is still active. No, we are not accidentally healing again. We're accidentally saving. And by accidentally, I mean on purpose. Uh, cool. Why did it pull from the full stack? Why would you do that? Uh, right. So now, we have done the fuse puzzle. Wait, did I just, oh no, I'm good. We did the fuse puzzle. We put the masks on the busts. We have explored the sound stage. I guess it's time for us to continue with our adventure. I don't see any real reason for us to not, for us to not move on to the hotel lobby. Oh, oh, hey, hey, Norman. Thank you for going down easy on that one. Uh, I don't see any reason for us to not just continue our adventure, heading back to the hotel lobby and de-jamming the elevator. Uh, what do you think, rat? My rat, my little rat friend, my little rat boy. Are you the king? Are you the king of the rats? You could be. You could be, you know. I could make you the king. I would tear apart the rat monarchy for you. All right, let's go. I don't know what that was about. Something possessed me. I think it was the rat. I gotta watch out for that one. He's wily. We, we solved puzzles. There's puzzles unsolved that we will not Puppet mysteries unsolved. We probably won't solve them, if I'm being honest. I gotta move on with my life. I got other things to do. You know? I can't I can't spend all my time decoding Morse code puzzles in a my friendly neighborhood. Did it work? Finally. Let's get this done. You know what it would have it would have been really anticlimactic if I had uh if I had gotten the jam solu dissolving solution wrong, like months ago and I had to go back and do that again. That would have been really embarrassing, am I right? Good thing it didn't happen. Ooh. Hello. What's going on up here? We got a, a note. Reflection, part one. I wander the dark streets of the city alone. The neighborhood is deserted. Ripped apart by corporations converging on it like vultures picking at a corpse. The crumbling buildings, the shattered glass glinting on the cracked pavement, the sagging car leaning on its flat tire make it look like a combat zone has blossomed here in the heart of the city. 
The comet glow of a traffic light gives everything an ethereal, dreamlike quality. I count lines of windows with their curtains pulled, each hiding someone in a dark apartment, watching TV, alone. An aching terror gnaws at the roots of my bowels. I feel like I'm teetering on the edge of a black pit, about to plunge into the void and be lost forever. I am alone. Even here, in the heart of the city, I am vastly, eternally, alone. Okay, calm down there, My Chemical Romance. Let's go. You. Who immortalized you as a statue? Leonard, I get it. You? Junebug? We're cool. You, though? You three? You three chuckle fucks? Unbelievable. I got caught on a pillar. Really took away from my dramatic reading. Huh. Someone, something has been here. We have a, we don't. We don't have a map for this area. Let's see what's behind door number one. <sighs> something is happening up here, that's for sure. This unsettled me when I saw this like X grand <laughs> cross. I thought someone had crucified George. He didn't deserve this. He deserved none of that. I gotta say. I gotta say this is uh, surprisingly unsettling. Is it scary? No. Is it bizarre? Absolutely. That music's gonna drive me crazy. Hey, what's going, uh, what's going on in here, huh? Is everything okay, bud? Can I, can I... Can I help you? No, not yet. I guess not. The game is telling me the only direction I can go is this way. Because it's highlighted the... Ooh, it's a safe room. A script. Arnold's imagination penthouse. I guess that's where we are. I guess that is where we are. We're not going to read that. We're not going to read the scripts. Oh. It's locked. I don't know what I was expecting. It's uh, it's definitely locked though, huh? It certainly is locked. Oh, is there actually a vending machine? Is it? What? Is, what is that? It's a soda. It's a soda pop with a cardboard can. What is it? What does it do? Can I? It's out of pop. 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 It's all out of pop. We only got one can. Uh. All right. Stash. Stash. I guess we'll figure out what we're doing with that later. I'm hoping it gives me a little locked from the other side. You say. Uh, what am I supposed to... What if I use the cardboard soda can? Tasty, but unremarkable. Huh. Can I get a... Can I get another one? That was it? Oh, well. Okay. Okay, then. Is it off-brand? Is it... Is it name-brand? I don't know what's going on over here, but uh, you keep you keep doing you. Keep expressing yourself, you know? It's important. It's important that we have a creative outlet. Why do you think I make these videos, huh? Gotta have a creative outlet. Hi, Norman. Shh. You gotta be polite, even if you don't want to talk to him. Real looker here. Mommy must be proud. Gordon. Gordon, why you gotta be so cynical in this case? He's trying his best, you know? Does this feel like a, a puzzle solution? What do you think? Do you think this looks like a puzzle solution potentially if we find something that looks like this later? Norman, what is this? Ooh, a map! There was a map. Fantastic. 
Uh, there's other stuff to pick up or look at in here, but who knows what that is. Oh, right, because there's the, the chest. Right, 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 right. Right, 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 right. I'm interested in finding out what opens the chest. Nothing in that. We got... Is that a cardboard token? Is that a different... No, it's just a normal token. Okay. A race car bed? You live in life up here, Arnold. Damn. Got a race car bed and everything. Hell yeah. Uh, well, we don't have anything better to do. Let's surf the web. Oh, he's got games. Switch game? How does it work? Did I win? Oh, I guess that's it. What about this one? Jump game? I jumped. Oh, man, this is... You guys are getting a treat here. Oh, fast-paced action. I'm speedrunning. I'm going to get a high score. Submit it to the next AGDQ. I guess SGDQ. Man, sick games, Arnold. Sick games. <gasps> Ricky, what happened to your body, Ricky? Is this your first birthday? Were you did you not have a body yet? MFN Radio Tower? What is? Oh, that's Goblet. <laughs> oh, Goblet. Hi, how are you? That's that's a uh, a unique situation. Uh, ooh, secure login. Do we have to type in a camera? Sounded like that came from the other room. Wait, that actually that actually did something. All of this was just silly, silly fun entertainment times, but there was actually a a hidden a hidden meaning. Uh It wasn't in this room. Ooh boy, that's a that's a puzzle we're gonna figure out in a second. Hold on. Let's see what's in this room first. Stop that. It's trash. You know, I thought... What am I looking at here? Oh! Wait. Do I have to... Am I locked in here? Oh, that's, that's funny. My art by Arnold. One. Two, three, four, five. I wonder if that's gonna be a puzzle. You know what? We can use we can use some tape. We can use some tape here, I think. We're gonna have to find a secret second key. Alright. We're gonna put that back so we can leave. You stay put. Stay put, Liliana. Not Liliana. Wait, no, that is Liliana. What happened to your hat? What happened to your hat, Liliana? It was fetching. Things are things don't look quite right without the hat. What room was that in? Oh, was that in the main room? That was in the main room. Oh my god. It's just the the constant pounding on the piano. Oh god, George. George. None of that. What do we got? Oh, it looks like a key slot. Well, we're not going to be able to do anything with that unless we get the key. You know what? We'll tape you down. Alright. So that was... That was the one painting. There was a second painting I think we could have opened. In that room. Let's do that. Oh. Maybe we should leave that open. Just in case. And now we can go back and we can check. 
the other painting. Just going off over there. Ooh, a puzzle. Puzzle piece. All right, we got one puzzle piece. Single puzzle piece. Oon puzzle piece. All right, well, it's time for us to go to that other room, you know? The one with that, uh, the sink in the kitchen. There was a, I, please, I just have to escape the, the, what, what, what? I was never good at cooking. I don't know if this qualifies as cooking, Gordon, if I'm being honest. If, if I'm being completely, perfectly honest. Why are there pills? Why are there pills? Okay. All right, I see, I see, I see what we're working with here. So we have a knife, we have a chop, we have a, we have a leek. Okay, what do we, what do we got? So we need to put milk into the box to make cheese. Where's the milk? Ex tell me where the milk is. Give me the milk. Milk into box. Make cheese. Oh, it's going to take a second. Don't worry about it. Uh, cut tomato, make ketchup. We got ketchup. We don't have room. Uh, can I put, where can I put ketchup? Oh, we've created a problem for ourselves. Oh, um, can I just put that there for now? Thank you. Give cheese. We are going to need to cut We have, mm, one second, as we make enough room in our inventory to solve this kitchen puzzle, because it doesn't seem like there's a lot of places for us to put things. Oh, there's some stuff that we actually are going to have to time, huh? Uh, all right, so we got to put the canned goods on the stove. For 20 seconds. Uh-oh. We didn't count. <laughs> we weren't counting. We certainly weren't counting. Um, we probably should have been. Let's put... We gotta put you in here. We gotta cut the cheese. Yeah, that's a funny... It's a funny joke, everybody. We gotta cut the cheese. All right, so we've got that, that, and the canned goods. We're going to do 20 seconds. So we're going to do a fun thing. All right. 1, 2, 3, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Probably skip ahead to that. And then we got to put all of that in the fridge. Banana can good ketchup. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, what did I do wrong? Oh, I can't look at it. You know what? That's fair. One. Two, three, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's uh I didn't uh, I didn't read that part. You know what? That one's on me. Now if I put all these in here, one, two, three, four, five. We have our replacement key. And that's how cooking works, everybody. If you if you didn't know, if you don't know, now you know. Is there anything else for us to? Is there something else in here? 
Ooh, there was a candy bar in the trash can. There was a candy bar in the trash can. Should we eat it? Probably not. It was in the trash can for a reason. Lunch is my favorite meal of the day. Now let's the food get out of here. I do wonder, hopefully this won't be a problem for us. I think we should be able to get this door open still. Unlocks with the purple pentagon key. Is it a door? Oh, it's a door. Oh, I was so confused for a second. I thought I was stuck in something. I thought my game had frozen. That would have been a sad time for me. I would have had to redo that entire cooking puzzle. Oh! Oh! Puppet pool party! Puppet pool party! Pool party, baby! It was a cool party! Cool pool party! La 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 la. Anybody remember the Aquabats? Artificially pumped in children's sounds. There was nothing in here. There was nothing in here. There was just puppets for us to sneak past. Oh, you've got to be. You've got to be kidding me. So I'm going to have to remember the order in which I'm supposed to touch these paintings. <laughs> Easy enough. Really. I don't think that should be a problem. Oh, this is nice. This is lovely. I really just like a cheeseburger to go. Don't we all? Don't we all? Alright. So this is going to be a, this goes back to the, the room. I hear their voices and I am immediately put on edge. Lock and load. Hold on. Hey. Hey. None of that. None. None of that. You sick freaks. You're sick. You're sick. Ooh, puzzle piece. You're sick, and you need help. Okay. Alright. God, I have a, too many things. I'm back to having too much stuff. We need to go back. And we're going to get the puzzle piece from that chest, I assume. You keep jamming out, Arnold. I assume that's Arnold. Considering this is his penthouse. Get that puzzle piece, get that duct tape. Alright. And then, we are gonna head back. And we're gonna... Oh. I don't know why I did that. We gotta go into the room and we gotta look at the puzzle. We gotta look at the painting order first. Look at that painting order. I'm a craft monster! Huh. Well, honest. <laughs> Don't scare me. Alright, so shapes is first. I like to start with pipe cleaners to Horse? give myself something to make shapes out of. I'll or fox. And or dog, and perhaps. Animal of some kind. Take your closest friend and separate all of their we got into little pies bars and lines. This Number three. You make your crafts out this of. this like uh Norman, abstract masterpiece is number four, and then fruit is number five. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to remember that. They're distinct enough. None of them are like similar. My memory's pretty good, if I do say so myself. Just evident as evidenced by the fact that I've hardly looked at my map. Oh God. Ugh. <laughs> As evidence for the fact I've hardly looked at my map at all this this time. I just want to live here. Can I just stay in this room? This room's great. All right, number one. Wait, am I gonna get tricked? Is there a similar one? No, there's not. Okay, cool. This is the first one. Um. Uh, 
Um, number two was strange animal. Uh, number three was bars and lines. Number four was this abstract masterpiece. And then number five was fruit. Fruit by the foot. All right, and we're done with that. So let's get rid of it. I think that's all the puzzle pieces. So let's go back and let's solve. Ooh, we missed, we missed a, I wonder if this is gonna be another Richard Lightsbury special. The box office report from the City Tribune, Saturday, January 1st, 1983. A Puppet Winter Song, the eighth film in the My Friendly Neighborhood franchise opened up the holiday weekend to an underwhelming 1.4 million box office, signaling that the film will fall short fall far short of recovering its $25 million budget. I don't know if 25 million was like a large amount of, like if that was normal for a movie budget in the eighties. Like, obviously it doesn't feel like, oh, I got a, I accidentally got a two for, two for there. Uh, I don't know if that was one of the, if like 25 million was a, was a pretty big amount for 1983 or whatever, but maybe it was. Are you, Arnold, are you good? Are we, is everything okay? Yo, what's up friend? If you didn't stop banging on the piano like that, my ears were gonna start bleeding. Play to that. Uh, no. Play to that. I can't read music. <laughs> Get off me, you bitch! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the fact that the piano is named the Yamahi. Just a guy. Just look at him. He, look at him go. You go, Arnold. You go, bud. Now, where are we going? See ya, Arnold. It's been real, bud. Ooh, cancellation notice. July 15th, 1983. Mr. Gerswald, we are writing to inform you that, effective immediately, the show My Friendly Neighborhood has been canceled and the production company MFN Studios has been dissolved. All assets and equipment, including puppet performers and the studio lot, remain the property of the City Network Broadcasting Group. All employees have until close of business on Friday, July 22nd, to vacate the premises. Respectfully, Lawrence Blacksoul, Vice President of Programming for the City Broad Network Broadcasting Group. Li <laughs> Lawrence Blacksoul, huh? A little on the nose there with that name, huh? Give me roof access. Can I push a button? Could not Fine. terminate broadcast. I guess, go out and do it myself. I guess I gotta do it myself. Yeah, we gotta do it ourselves, Gordon. We've had to do everything ourselves up here. You think anything is gonna be different now? How do I... Oh, there's a ladder. Snake Eater! Really, really making me climb this ladder, huh? This feels a little anticlimactic. You know? Like, nothing's trying to stop me. You can't stop the signal, you know? Gorilla radio, lights out. Is the game gonna fake me out? 
it's playing the the in, the intro screen music, the title screen music, like the game is gonna end. <laughs> this re this really is a snake eater ladder moment. Oh, there's a there's another ladder. Oh, I hate heights. Uh, it's Nebuzaradon. It's that company. It's the one that we couldn't pronounce. Is Ricky gonna pop out of the, the antenna? You know he is. You just know Ricky's gonna pop out of the antenna. to do this I don't want you broadcasting Ricky you're gonna hurt kids hurt them Gordon we want to help them they need us you need us for what for what Gordon look at this city the buildings are dark and the streets are empty no one knows how to be a friendly neighbor. It's, it's true. It's a city of shuttered up hearts, and they need someone to let in the light. I don't think that's you, Ricky. You know why I think we got canceled? Why? Because people like darkness more than light. Why would they do that? Maybe it makes them uncomfy, because it shows how messed up they are. What are you talking about, Ricky? I'm talking about our show, Gordon! We show them how to be friendly, and they hate that because they're not friendly. I don't think that's the problem, Ricky. Really? Are you sure about that, Gordon? Do you really think the city network suits care about anything except their bank account? Do you really think people won't take any excuse to ignore their own issues? This is hitting a little bit close to home, you know? Come on, Gordon. We both know. Deep down, you want to be friendly. He does. He does want to be friendly. Oh, how does normal... There's no way. No, Gordon. Oh. Gordon, there's no way. There's no way you lived through that, Gordon. Okay. Where are we? Gordon. How do you alive? How did you live, Gordon? Trash bags from that height would not be enough. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Okay, this is where the unsettling part of the game is actually. Woo! Okay. Um. Uh, can I go in here? Is it safe? Where's my... Okay, I still have my weapons. Okay. Did I put anything in tool chest too? I did not. Oh. Things have gotten dark. We're gonna save. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna save. That's the door. Okay. This is a really small... Things have gotten dire. Oh, boy. Oh, it's so quiet down here, too. You can... Reflection, part two. Hold on. Driven by a restless spirit, I go up on the roof. And there, above the wreckage of the city, I see the stars. Pure and beautiful and very close. Something about them stirs a vague memory in me. Like I'm looking into a wondrous other world I've forgotten. And as I stare, I suddenly hear something speak to me. Something that says, I am with you. Someone who can reach down, pull me out of the pit, and bring me home. That's nice. Emergency. Emergency lockdown, huh? Hello? Who Hello? got... How did you get this Hello? number? Ricky? Gordon? Is that you? Ricky, I'm here. Oh, Gordon, thank goodness.
this. So what are they? Bad puppets? Oh, Gordon, I really hope you wouldn't find out. It's so embarrassing. But we were all curious. What do you mean? We wanted to know what other shows had that we didn't. We'd never been allowed to watch television before, but after we got canceled, no one was around to stop us. Oh, no. Okay. So we turned on one of the old sets, expecting to see something amazing. Okay. But it wasn't amazing. It was mean. It felt like we were dying, Gordon. We all got a little twisted then, but some of us. Uh oh. Great. Then how do I get out of here? Well, there's uh, th th there's an elevator somewhere. Uh, should be at the end of that hall. There was. You said it's locked down. Oh, that means you'll have to pull the security release. That's on the other side of their stage. Oh yeah, no, that's really convenient. So that's is. where that is, huh? If I ever really, get real here, fucking convenient, Ricky. Oh, I believe in you, Gordon. Just do your wham blam, fight the puppets thing. Give them the old A B C one two three. I, your your Thanks faith, for the your faith is astounding, Ricky. Truly, truly, you believe in me. Oh wow. I remember at the beginning of the game saying, oh, I didn't get a flashlight, huh? But now we do. Now we do get a flashlight. I'm very afraid. I don't know what's waiting for me. This is like a proper horror game now. Are they going to give me a... Am I going to get a map? Somewhere? Perhaps? Maybe? Welcome to the unfriendly neighborhood. I see now I'm sad. Unfriendly neighborhood. Now I'm sad that I used the you came to the wrong neighborhood bit in the first episode. I sh I should I didn't know. You have to forgive me. I didn't know. I didn't know a more appropriate scenario for its usage was going to show up. Oh god. Oh, oh no. Oh. Bad. Bad times. Bad times. I'm leaving. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is bad. This is very bad. How do I leave? Oh, I'm in danger. Oh, I'm in danger. Oh, I'm dead. <gasps> I actually died. I actually factually died. Uh-oh. Am I going to have to sit through that entire... Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reflection part two. Emergency shutdown. Ricky? Can I skip Gordon? through the cutscene? Ricky, I'm here. I did. Okay, good. This is not a good time. Can I actually defeat that puppet? The unfriendly neighborhood. Something tells me that it's not a possibility. Just keep going. Just keep going. Don't let it stop. Oh, can you, can you not? Oh God, I'm afraid. Where am I supposed to, what am I supposed to do? Oh, what opened this, it opened this door. What am I waiting on? 
Do I just have to keep running? It's like right behind me! Oh god. The stress is real. Oh, it's like slowly, <laughs> it's so slowly coming down. It's so slowly <laughs> coming down. It's so slowly coming down. Oh god, I don't want to look. Every time I look, it gets scary. I don't have, I don't have enough health potions. I should have taken more health potions. Oh god. Oh god, it's terrifying. Don't look at it. Don't look at it too closely. Don't look at it too closely. Keep running. Oh my god, how much longer? So... Oh god. Oh god. Oh! I'm running out of breath. Oh god, it's screaming. It's screaming. I'm screaming. Oh god, I feel like it's almost getting me every single time. I see its little tentacles. Oh my... Can I... Oh god. Nope. 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 Not interested. Not interested. You can't... You can't sell me anything. I'm not buying. Yep. Okay. Oh man, this is quite the... This is quite the wait. This is quite the way for this... This is quite the way for this door to open. Oh, it opened. Okay, good. Woo. We made it. Oh, boy. That was... That was un... That was bad. That was not a good time. I d Ooh, wait, where am I? Where am I? Oh, I must be like in a different part of the hotel. Oh, this must be a final address. It must be a final address. Dear children, I'm sorry to announce that this will be our final episode. I wanted to take a moment to address you personally so that you may have a final lesson to remember after we're gone. Our world can be hard and scary. It can sometimes be difficult to know what's right and wrong because the world is broken. And we're broken too. Our hearts are hollow and dark, unfriendly. And there's nothing in this world that can fix us. No beauty, no power, no food, no fame. What we need is for a light beyond our world the light that is also love to reach down and seize our hearts and bring us back to itself. In our show, we've tried to give you a glimpse of that light so that the message I want to leave you with is this. Have faith in the light. Sometimes it may be scary. Sometimes it may hurt. Sometimes it's hard to know what's right and wrong because good and bad are all jumbled up and confusing. And when that happens, it can hurt a lot. But have faith in the light, because the light will rescue you from the darkness. That must have been written by good old Al Gerswald. So, uh, what do we do? What do we do, huh? Did we succeed? Did we stop the broadcast? God, Gordon, your footsteps are still so loud. Ricky! Ricky! Ricky, speak to me! What happened? Oh, it stopped raining. That's nice. Is it morning? Man, I've been here all night, huh? Last job of the day turned into first job of the next day, huh? Oh no, Gordon, don't get contemplative. Gordon, you're alive. I'm so proud. You could just come out of anywhere, Good. can you, Ricky? I'm leaving. Yes, you should. 
job. Well done, Gordon. Turned off our antenna and survived the unfriendly neighborhood. You're a handyman extraordinaire. Those were Don't mock me, Ricky. definitely in my job mock description. You, I would never. Oh, before you go, I was wondering if you'd do us a favor. Oh? You've been hanging around the studio. You know a little bit about our show. That I do. Spit it out, Ricky. I was wondering if you'd help run our studio. What? See, everything's really old and falling apart. Really beyond our ability to care for. Well, and on the personal I am a handyman. Side, I think it's obvious that we need a bit of a guiding hand. Are you kidding? Gordon, do I look like a sock that would kid? Yes. Ricky. I'm just a maintenance man. I don't know how to run a studio. That oh, this is a valid point. Handle it. A it valid point, Gordon. That hard. Besides, look at how much you've helped us just since you got here. I talked to the other puppets. Reviews are. Oh, I mean, I did. I did help. What if you all of the like other them? puppets? I don't think we're the ones you should be worried about, Gordon. Come on, won't you be our neighbor? Wait. You know what? Mr. Rogers would be proud. <sighs> I think the sane answer would definitely be no. Yes. Fine. We'll give it a shot. Yes, we will. Oh, Gordon, I'm so This is the heartwarming glad. ending that we, we wanted. The heartwarming I'm not living here though. Sappy well, we sappy that. moments oh, Gordon, that we that we you. that we wanted thank for, you for being All of these all of the good times. I am Bursting at the seams. I must go tell the others at once. Tomorrow night, then? Uh, no, 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 it's no. It's decided. Tomorrow night. See you later, Gordon. Arrivederci. Toodaloo. 23 skidoo. Ciao. Well, Brian, what have you done this time? Well, we did. I helped the neighbors get a slot on public access TV. It was late night on weekdays. I don't think anyone watched it. Within a couple of weeks, though, word was starting to get out. Some people loved the show, some people hated it. That Sounds like most things. Attention. And by the end of the year, we had three channels wanting to sign for a whole season. Oh. Of course, after the dogs the weren't horrifying involved, after all. I got fired. But somehow, I feel a little hopeful about it. It's hard to describe. It's like you've been lost in a tunnel. Until suddenly a voice calls your name. And you turn around and you see the rising sun. And it's so bright, maybe it hurts a little to look at. But you don't care. Because it's leading you home. Aww. That was a, a nice, heartwarming ending to My Friendly Neighborhood, assuming it's ever. Yeah, it's absolutely ever. Well, hey. Hey, we did it. Yeah, that actually there actually wasn't as much of that game left over as I as I thought there would be. This is a uh, This is a good uh the good sort of homage to Sesame Street. Actual children singing. <laughs> well, hey, we did it. This this was this was my friendly neighborhood. Not quite as scary as as we thought it was going to be. It did get a little uh, a little unruly there at the end with the unfriendly neighbors. But uh, we did it. Gordon fixed uh, fixed the situation and himself in the process. Well, I guess that 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 about wraps it up, unless there's a. Oh, I uh, think I ended early. Can we uh, go back to the beginning? Oh, Norman. Oh, Norman. You, you guy. A bee. <sighs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We got a bee. There we go. That wraps it all up. The game. The game has ended. So thank you, everybody, for joining me for the last time for my friendly neighborhood. I've been Bo Astra, and if you stuck with me this long, thank you for making it to the very end. 
We've got more stuff coming, more games to play. And uh, until then, thank you for joining me in the Astral Labyrinth. See ya. <laughs>